What's up, fam? It's your boy, Kirk, and we are back on the channel with another episode of How It All Works. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about Ecamm. So we'll get into it right after this. I don't deny that there's some strange I'm Kirk Nugent, and I challenge everyday people to think holistically about their relationship to technology at home for their families and at work for career success. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Ecamm. That's right, Ecamm. This is the last of our series on my live stream setup. I've been taking you through what I use for my camera, which is actually Ecamm, uh, what I use for my microphone, how I do my graphics, my backgrounds, my lower thirds what I do, my entire production run sheet in terms of what I do to run my live streams for my shows. And I hope that they've been beneficial to you. I hope that you've taken the journey with us. And if you haven't subscribed already, come on, jump on in and subscribe. You have been responding in an overwhelming fashion. So we are so thankful for you taking that journey with us. Uh, so without any further ado, let's jump on my desktop and figure out how it all works. So here we are in Ecamm Live, and I'm using the beta version uh, because I want to show you the interview feature that Ecamm has just released, which is phenomenal. Um, so I'm just going to run through some of, uh, kind of give you an overview of what you're seeing on screen right now. Um, what what on on the main feed, which is this this square here, uh, you always see your subject or whatever you have selected in your scenes. Uh, so right now I just have my camera selected. Um, I'm going to go into my test folder, uh, just have my camera selected. If I wanted to show like a single overlay for the show, there's, there it is. And it's already designed. It's already in there. And I'm going to break that down in a second. Go back to this. So camera in the top left corner, you're seeing that it shows the scene. And it's got a boatload of them because I have a lot of them built in. What you're also seeing on screen is that we are recording. You have the ability to uh, pick your camera. You have the ability to show your screen here. You also have the ability to grab a video file. And I'll show you that in a second as well. Um, on the screen also, you have your switcher. And if you come up here to camera, you can include in your switcher all of the different pieces. Guess one, two, three, four comes in over here when you have guests coming into your 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 live stream using the native um, guest feature interview feature that Ecamm has just added in this beta version. So you can I can I can just swap between cameras. That's my my webcam up top here, back to my regular camera, which is the Sony A7 II. And if I had a guest, I would be able to swap them in here as well as you can see in the switcher all of them are included but the guest piece is is, is blank right now so i'm going to switch back um on this on this other side you have uh this 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 show shows and hides the overlays and you can see the overlay uh feature kind of going away right now and so here it is um in the overlay section you have you have items that you can add in that are in the current scene and then you have items that you can add in that are in a in all scenes and so it doesn't matter which scene i'm in over here in the scene section you can see you can actually see them so you, as i'm going through the different scenes you'll see this one is here and what is this one this one is subscribe <laughs> hey i might as well use these these this i this time and this this item right to just you know, explain to everybody, hey, we want you to subscribe. And what I want you to show you here is that this is a an animated GIF. So when I hide it by clicking the little eye icon there and it has the line through it, it it's hidden. But when I unhide it, it automatically plays. But you'll see here, I'm going to move the switcher down a little bit. Uh, you can move the switcher anywhere on screen, by the way. But you can see here that um, if you hit the down arrow, you have autoplay and then when it's finished, do nothing or you can when finished, you can say hide. So I can come here, play it. I just love that. This is the this is the GIF I'm using. I hope you all subscribe for real. And then when it's done, it's hidden. It's gone. Or I can come back and say uh, loop. And so you can just play it and it'll just keep on. It'll just keep on going, which is 
good for some things, but definitely not for this one. So I'm going to actually come back to this thing and say, do nothing. That's one of the things that's in this scene. Just giving you an idea of what overlays and scenes can do in, in the system. This is what, this is the overlays one. This is the sound. So you have your microphone, all of the, your microphone and cameras, as long as your computer can see it, Ecamm can see it. So don't do a whole lot of work to try and make sure that Ecamm can see it. What you want to make sure is that your computer can see it. If your computer can see it, then Ecamm can see it. Um, I have all my microphones here. I have selected this microphone right now. And so that's the one that I'm using. Um, but there are, you know, several other microphones. And that's also because I have loopback here as as what I'm as my one of my microphone inputs. So um, that gives me the options to build up an, a, a custom microphone. And you guys have seen that. That was in one of the previous videos in that my live stream setup, right? So movie, if I'm playing a movie, that audio is here. If I'm playing sound effects, um, like this triangle, right? You heard that. Or if I have these party noises, I can set the odd, the level of that sound effect. If I want to play this DJ horn, I want that louder, softer, whatever. All of that stuff happens in the sound effects and I control that audio here. System audio is audio from the computer and because I'm showing you my screen, that system audio is available here, but it's not always available. So I want you to keep in mind, sometimes you will not see system audio because you're not sharing your screen. You also may not see interview if you haven't downloaded the beta version. So interview allows me to control the audio for the people that are in my in, in my show that, that, that I'm interviewing. <clears throat> but I wanna show you the video one real quick. Here is a, uh, a quick little video that I did. <clears throat> uh, it's, it's, it's just showing my, um, some, my speaker reel. So here we are in this video. And so you can see that the movie, is it, the movie, movie icon is connector. in the middle. I can pull that down. But I can also pull that down here too. Speaker. And you can see that they're moving in both places. Right? So you have control over what the movie audio what? sounds like. And as you can see that what, now that I've got this movie selected in this scene, that this scene, all this scene has in it is a movie. So I went up here to the top, hit this video file, selected speaker reel, and that movie plays. And every time I, every time I select this scene, every time I play this scene, we click play to, to, to select a scene, you actually have to click play on it. So every time I select a scene, it brings it up. Now, you have the option it will automatically give you a picture in picture you have the option to get rid of that picture in picture and 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 and, and, and that is a, a another key piece that you want to be be mindful of um picture in picture is great because you can move that all over all over the screen i can size it um it's really cool and the additional thing that uh ecamm has done um getting off of the videos for just a second is that they have enabled us to be able to add video overlays as well. So in this overlay section, if you come down here, you can see that you can add um, images as an overlay. You can add animated overlays. I showed you that already. Showed you the image one as well with my lower third with the name of the show. Um, you can add a text image and I showed you that as well with the, the countdown clock and it just said show starts in. That's just a text overlay, nothing, nothing special there. I also showed you a countdown clock and then you can actually pull in, you know, a website, uh, just a small piece of a website by doing this, this um, animated, well, this, this widget that they have here. Um, you can create folders to house your overlays and I recommend that just to keep yourself uh, organized. Um, but then you can also do a video. Um, so if, you if I click to add a new video, and so it automatically picked my webcam and I can grab that and put it off to the side here. But I can click this and hit the down arrow and choose one of the other cameras as well. You have full control over what you want to see here. You can change your aspect ratio to classic. You can change it to square. You can change it to tall and you can change it to custom. All right. So in custom, you can size it whatever way you see fit. And, and actually, Ecamm is going to try its best to work with the ratio on on your camera so that it's still showing you a full thing and that's pretty cool and again um, i hit the the show hide button here to get rid of it 
And if I want to delete this, I just drag it down here to the trash can and away it goes. Bye bye. I'll get that um, camera overlay feature is a feature in the beta version. It is not in the full version yet. Uh, but it is a great addition and I've already used it for a live production and it is game changer between that and the interview feature because you can bring in a guest and then bring them on screen in a custom fashion wherever you want to have them and that that is again like I said game changer um, I want to show you uh, the interview feature but before I do that I want to show you uh, some of that uh, presentation that I did yesterday here's here's an example of the title slide for that presentation and so you up here you can see in in the in the in the overlay section that I have guest one and the guest one is not he's not in my system right now in the interview but you can you can see that that's where he would drop in and we we literally just went into zoom with ecamm as a as a virtual camera um used use this 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 setting or this i should say background which is a png that i created in canva no big deal if you want to know more about that i have a video but i can i can show you some more details just let me know in the comments um and we just kind of went through our our whole presentation by 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 doing this and it was just i mean so clean we created the frames. The frames is a whole nother overlay. It's myself and, and Anselm Paul, a good friend of mine. So that's that's what that looked like. And um, I'm going to show you something real quick here. I'm going to bring in. I'm going to bring in my my other laptop, which is behind me here. And you can see that, OK, other laptop is joining. So I hit the, the answer button. Now, now it says the guest is in the green room. And you can see over my shoulder over there that 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 it is indeed in the green room there. So all I've got to do is assign other laptop to guest one and immediately it shows up on screen here in the guest one slot <clears throat> because that has already been designed in the scene. It's phenomenal stuff. I mean, the way Ecamm has done this, it is game changer for real. Um, but yeah, that's that's another piece there. I know that I mentioned the virtual camera and I had not shown that to you. If you go to output and you go to virtual cam, you can install your virtual camera and then you will turn on the virtual camera and you want to restart whatever other systems you have on your computer uh, be before you can actually use them. And so the entire system will now see your virtual camera as a option when you go into like Zoom or Google Meet or any of these other platforms. The reason why I'm rushing through that is because I've got a whole video dedicated just to virtual cam um, that I think will explain in great detail what you need to do with that piece. But um, but yeah, they, that's those are all the components. What I also want to show you here is that, of course, now that I have uh, somebody in interview, I have this interview item here. I also have um, this this slider. Now, my laptop is muted because I didn't want to get that feedback. So I didn't want to bring in that microphone. But this is how I would control the audio for each individual guest that comes in to my show, which is phenomenal. And you just hit the X and away it goes. And we go back to normal. Um, and it, that, of course, it drops out, but it still maintains that that guest one is supposed to be in that box, which is so, so, so cool. So that that's a really cool thing that they've, they've set up for us here. Um, I did want to show you that you can show your desktop, but I think that it's clear that you are seeing my entire desktop now. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of, of, of what we what I've showed here, if it's useful. Uh, but that is Ecamm in a nutshell. This is not a meant to be a full tutorial. I just wanted to walk folks through Ecamm, walk folks through my process and what I do with the system um, as I as I play through with with different things. Here is a, a you know a, a, a screen that I was using last week. I do have you know your composition on here. I have Kirk who speaks that he on here. My wife uh, was on here. I, I have howitallworks.com on here. Goliath had the numbers. I'm just turning that off. But again, all of those are in the overlay section. You can see that I have my signature here. I can pull that around, put it in a place that you can see a little better. But the whole point is, this enables you to have very, very rich um, engagement when you are live streaming, number one, but also when you are going into other platforms. It is a really good setup. Yeah, it's so amazing that this platform is just evolving and evolving. Um, I, 
I'm, I'm so glad I was able to show you the beta version and some of the features and functions that they're adding. Other features that they're looking to add um, to Ecamm is multi-destination. Right now, you can only stream to one destination at a time, which one of those destinations can be Restream or Switchbox. And both of those are really good in taking your stream and distributing it to multiple destinations. But I would love if Ecamm could do that internally like natively itself uh, so but but when i'm streaming to facebook if i'm streaming just to youtube one destination ecamm is my go-to um, especially now that they've fixed the interview feature now what i did not mention in the video is that ecamm did have um, a, a remote guest mode if you will they partnered with skype um, and used ndi to do that um, i just was never a fan of it and i i, I, I had a couple of issues with live streaming with Skype machine crashed with some of my guests and we ended up having to restart. And so we just went back to StreamYard and stuck with that. But now that Ecamm has this guest interview feature, I think it's a game changer because it's internal. It's a lot lighter. It gives the same interface and feel as what you would if you were a guest on some of these other platforms like StreamYard, Restream and others. Uh, so your guest has a view of the main feed. They know how to mute and mute themselves and they can see what's happening. Whereas when you were using Skype, it was just a Skype call and then Ecamm was grabbing that video and bringing it into your stream. But most of the time, your guest really had no visibility on what was happening in the live stream. So even as you were bringing comments in and different things like that, it didn't work. So really excited about those pieces that they've added to this thing. This is a great platform. Look out for more on this. If you're interested in like a full step-by-step -step tutorial, we're talking about like a half hour video, maybe even more, uh, please let me know in the comments. If you're interested in knowing how I did some of those backgrounds for the presentations that we did, also let me know in the comments. Uh, this has been, uh, again, this series was just so fun for us to produce and, and to put out for you guys. And you have been responding in a phenomenal way. We're glad that these things are giving you value. But if this is one of your first videos with us, or even if this is your 10th video with us, we hope that you have gotten value from it. And we ask that you would take the journey and that you'd click that subscribe button, that you'd smash that like button and, and you know, hit the bell as well, because that will let you know when we have new content, when we go live. Check us out Mondays, 5.30 Central Standard Time, 6.30 in the East, uh, 3.30 in the West for our live show where we figure it out live together. Um, my name is Kirk Nugent. I'm the Geek Speaker Preacher, and I'm hoping that somewhere in the course of this video and any of the others, you were able to put some pieces together, have that aha moment, your light bulb went on, and you were able to figure out how it all works. I'll see you in the next video.